Shalom. I want to start off by saying, Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Reka Kodesh. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the Akim that are spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word of sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the whole Phil elect. I'm the brother Kotaz Sayan from the GMS Holland branch, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, with another lesson, with another video, and Lord willing, this video is edifying. <laughs> In this video, I want to go into that uh, humiliation, humility, is a big part of this truth. So, humility is a big part of this truth because it falls in the same category as the fear of the Most High. You know, when you fear the Most High, then you are going to get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? But if you don't show humility, then you're not going to get that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, neither. You know? Let's go to... What was it? Proverbs. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Go on. So that's the beginning of the of knowledge. If you fear the Most High, and if you go to Proverbs twenty two and four, it says, "By humility and the fear of Yahweh are riches and honor and life." So. You have to have the fear of the Most High to, to start getting this knowledge, but also humility plays a big part in this in this role, because you have um, you have Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, he was meek and humble, you know. He wasn't somebody that would just come and bear arms in that time that he was here upon the earth. No, he came in a meek and humble and lowly state, because if you go into that word humble. Uh, so like, yeah, humility, it comes from humble. Humility, early 13th century, 1400th century. Quality of being humble. From old French, humility, modesty, sweetness. From Latin, humiliatatem, which is low, lowness, small stature, insignificance, baseness, littleness of mind. Meekness from humilis, lowly, humble, literally on the ground, from humus, earth. You see? So humility goes back to being very small of stature, little in mind, you know, um, um, bowing down your mind, you know, suppressing your own thoughts, but being humble and, and show humility so that you can receive this knowledge, you know? Because Yahweh Shai, he gave the perfect example. He was meek and humble and lowly, you know. And also, Moses. So, like, yeah, let me look it up here. This is Numbers 12, verse 3. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. You see? So even Moses was meek. Yahweh Shai was meek and humble. You know? Otherwise you can't, you can't, then you don't have the um, apostle, uh, apostle, <laughs> uh, the elder apostle, uh, Gabar, he said, as soon as you come into this truth, Pride goes out the window, you know. Otherwise, you can't get this, you see. Otherwise, you are not going to get this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, because pride is going to puff you up. You come into this truth thinking that you know something, but the Most High, He wants somebody that He can work with, that can bow down His mind, you see. Apostle Paul, he was the same way. Let's go to Acts. Acts 20, verse 16. 
until 19. For Paul had determined to sail by Ephesus because he would not spend the time in Asia, for he hasted if it were possible for him to be at Jerusalem the day of Pentecost. So that was one of the high holy days that uh, the men of Israel had to travel back to Jerusalem. Verse 17, and from Miletus, he sent to Ephesus and called the elders of the church. And when they were come to him, he said unto them, Ye know from the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons, serving Yahweh Bashem Yahushai with all humility of mind and with many tears and temptations which befell me by the lying in wait of the Jews. So the point is that he was serving Yahweh Bashem Yahushai with humility of mind. Like I was uh, speaking about, you have to humble your mind, you have to humble yourself. You see, to be able to do this work. You can't do this uh, with, with, with a... You don't, don't get it wrong because you have being bold and being prideful. Because you can do it in all boldness. You know, the Most High, he said in the scriptures that we would stand boldly as lions. You know? So that, that's something different than being prideful. You know, pride puff it up. You know, pride, that, that's that leaven in that lump in the church that you don't want. You know, that you got to purge out. Let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs 15 and 33. The fear of Yahweh is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. You see? So, before you get honor from men that have been doing this for longer than you, from men that are coming in and uh, want to learn something from you, you have to uh, show humility. You know? That's what you get from being uh, humble. You get honor. But it's, of course, through Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. He's going to um, um, exalt you in due time. So it's not of yourself. It's not, it's not something that you had to have to be uh, prideful of. Because it's of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that is putting you in that position. That you can get honor. Proverbs 18, verse 12. Before destruction is the heart. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. You see, so before the destruction of 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 a person, the heart of him is haughty. You know, he's all prideful. He's all into himself. He's all you know. It's not. That's not a, a good sign, man. Because this is these are the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Before the destruction of a man. You know, his heart is haughty. Let's go into that word. Proverbs 18, verse 12. And that word haughty is gaba. Gaba. And the outline of biblical usage says, it's to be high, be exalted, be lofty, tall, exalted, Arrogant, you see, <laughs> so before destruction, a man is uh, he's going to be arrogant, you know. That's how the Most High designed everything. That's this, this is the booklet that you have, you know, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the Most High to see to predict the future, to be a prophet, basically. So when a man is being arrogant, you know, he might just be destroyed. He might just fall off. So, like we were speaking about, you know, humility comes before honor. So that is the 
the mo one of the most important parts, most important characteristics that you should have as a man of the Lord, you know. Otherwise, this is going to happen. Sirach 13, verse 20 says, As the proud hate humility, so do the rich abhor the poor. So this shows you the contrast with humility. You have humility, but what is the, the, the opposite of humility? Pride, to be proud. Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, like we just read in uh, Proverbs 18 and 12. You know, when a man is exalting himself, when he is being arrogant, that's the most high preparing him to fall. You know, these are the signs and tokens that, that you can see what is going to happen. Matthew. And I'm going to try to close it off with this. Matthew 23. Verse 12. And these are the red letters. So these are the words of Yahweh Shai. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. You see? So like I was going into, to be humble is very important in the truth. To show humility is very important in the truth. You know, it's in the category of fearing the Most High. You see? Gan soyar This video is edifying. And I want to say, Kal halal yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rekha, Kodash, Shalom, Akim.